Hello, I'm Benny Westside, and today we're going to talk about Moon Knight. We're going to discuss his T4s, ISO 8, uh, how much we can build him, Dark Dimension prospects. Um, that way, uh, now that he's reworked, hopefully you'll have a better um, understanding of how to build him. All right, um, before I get into it, I do want to mention uh, when I make these videos, I always put out a graphic. Uh, the graphic is sort of for you to have uh, as a quick reference. In the video, we're going to discuss uh, more in-depth. If you want a screenshot right now, go for it. Uh, but I'll also link it in the description below. That way, if you want to uh, go give it a like for support, uh, you can do that. All right, now let's get into it. I like starting with the passive. Uh, we're going to look at T-Force first. Fist of Khonshu. Uh, this character cannot block on any character's turn. If this character has deflect or minor deflect, flip to offense up plus fill speed bar by 20%. This is uh, a very cool mechanic. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about this. Uh, this specific... Um, video is going to have a little segment about fun things and fun synergies we can explore with Moon Knight, uh, and this is going to play a big role in that. Uh, let's continue. Uh, he has damage reduction, uh, I guess to account for the fact that he can't block. Uh, he has a resistance passive, max health passive for himself and Shadowland allies, and then a damage passive. Uh, the T4 adds 20% 20 20 max health for him and Shadowland allies. Uh, the Shadowland part doesn't really matter, but uh, giving himself 20% max health is pretty nice. It's basically like maybe uh, going up a, like going from ISO 3 to 4, you know how that gives, I think, is it 10%? Instead, this gives 20%. So it's a nice, it's a nice little chunk. I would recommend this. Um, it, it's not essential, but it, it's it's very nice. All right, his ultimate is on turn one. It's on a six turn cooldown. At attack all enemies for uh, random damage. Uh, so there, this character is the only character that does this. He has a range of damage amount. It's uh, their way of winking at the fact that he's unpredictable. Um, which in, in the game he is as well. Apply heal block, 50% uh, chance to apply up to three additional negative effects. And the, uh, those are bleed, blind, defense down, disrupt, offense down, slow. So no ability block, stun, or trauma. Uh, and then he gains boosted focus for this attack. If he has three or more Night Stalker allies, he also clears three buffs off of each enemy. And he, this attack is unavoidable. That's very nice. Um, the T4 adds more damage, and then it increases the debuffs from 1 to 2 turns. It doesn't guarantee the, the debuffs. And then if he has 3 Night Stalker allies, he's going to clear all buffs instead of just 3. I think this is high value, but not necessarily essential, uh, because he needs to have the 3 Night Stalker allies. And then going... <sighs> I know characters can have a lot of buffs right now, but 3 is a decent amount. I mean, I would recommend this T4. I'm not saying don't do it, but I'm just saying it's not essential. Uh, I, I do think it's a high value upgrade. Alright, now let's look at his special, Night Guardian. It's on a 5 turn cooldown, ready on turn 1. Attack primary for damage, rebound chain to 3 to 5 adjacent targets for damage. Gain 100% crit chance on targets that have debuffs. This attack is unblockable. And then in raids, this attack cannot be counterattacked. Uh, that's nice because otherwise counterattack breaks this chain. Oh, here. Counterattack breaks this chain. Yes. And then uh, the T4 increases the damage and the number of characters that he chains to. I think that's very nice. It is, it is very high value. Um... But again, I don't think it's essential. It just increases his damage potential. But again, he is a damage dealer. So I would recommend this T4 as well. All right, his basic attack primary for damage, 50% chance to gain a random buffs, a random buff for two turns from 
the Sliss counter offense up speed up. When forced to attack an ally, he deals less damage to Shadowland or Night Stalker allies. The T4 uh, makes it where he always applies the buff. I don't think this buff is that important. It's okay, it's a nice upgrade. Uh, definitely not essential, so it's up to you. Alright. Now, um, ISO 8 classes, his ultimate is an AoE. His special is a big chain, and it's a rebound chain. Uh, his basic is a single target. Uh, he, I think he's a raider. Um, Blade's probably the only striker on this team, off the top of my head. Um, and then everybody else just raiders for high damage and to put out vulnerables uh, for Blade to make use of. I don't think... Um, I don't see the value of Striker on him, and I think he wants a damage dealing ISO, so uh, I wouldn't recommend any of the other ones. Um, yeah, Raider. <laughs> and then, I don't think it matters that much, but if you awaken Blade's passive, uh, he gives 10% crit chance, so that's going to compound with this. Um, but more importantly, the second part, also, when an ally crits, Blade's going to gain assists now. Uh, so, having more crits is overall better. <sighs> that one, even just like forgetting about that, I think he's a good raider. So that's what I'm going to recommend. Now, in terms of building, this is a pretty mild kit, right? There's nothing special here, nothing outstanding that's correct that's what it is uh it he, he's just basically relying on the new meta stats i think um maybe i'm doing this too soon but i've kind of conditioned myself to stop gushing over the new new stats anymore because if we do that then just like every character is mind-blowing which I don't think this character is. He, he just has the highest stats. So, that, that's something to consider. Yes, he, 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 like he, he does have the high stats, yes. And we already have him at 7 stars. So he's well equipped to make use of that. So if you build him, you are going to get good value out of it. No doubt. Especially right now when the saturation of the new meta stat characters is low. But just consider this. Every new character we get from now on is going to be at this new stat tier. So um, that's why I'm, I'm not... I'm, I've told myself stop being infatuated by these numbers. Um, that said, I cannot deny that he has it. So if you build him, build him big because he's a damage dealer. He has control effects. Um, he's just going to make good use of all of it, all of the stats that you give him. However, for the function of the team, he is just not needed whatsoever. Um, he doesn't bring anything to the team. Um, we, we have other damage dealers, especially like even for raids, I think if you were to use Night Stalkers, Mephisto is an easy sub-in for... Moon Knight, um, or Wall, or Deathpool, or Odin, like, whoever you want, you can bring in instead of Moon Knight, and you'll be fine, in my opinion. Silver Surfer, Ultimus, um, so, up to you. I mean, some people really like having five characters on each team, and just not having to think about, um, Count, like team crafting and things like that um so if if it's easier for you to just have the whole team sure i for me i don't think he's a necessary character to build but if you did build him as i said you will get good use out of him because he has high stats and he has good damage abilities um yeah so that's my recommendation you don't have to build him if you are go high um, yes, so that's, that kind of, I think, 
shows you what my plan is. I haven't built mine. Uh, I didn't go in on Shadowland, so I never built Moon Knight. I'm not going to spend the resources on him today. Uh, for this current raid, we're not going to... We don't need Night Stalkers if we have Mephisto. And now, like, Odin's coming... Or I, I'm probably going to unlock Odin soon. So once I have him, Mystic's just going to be easy. And I, I, don't, I don't have a use for this team. Um, if in the future something comes up, some type of content that compels me to build Night Stalkers, sure. Like, I'm not saying, I'm never going to build this team. No, uh, I just, I'm not, I don't currently see a reason to build Moon Knight, so I'm not going to. Um, that's just my take. That said, if you were to build him, I do think uh, there's some fun combos that you could do. And uh, let's talk about it. Um, like, before the team comes out, there's uh, things that we can do with him. So one thing about Moon Knight is he has low speed. He has 105 speed. Uh, I think that's meant to account for the fact that he gets speed bar if he has a, he gets a deflect. Uh, it, I don't believe it, it stacks. So if he clears three deflects, he doesn't gain 60%. It's always going to be 20, um, but it, it is something that's there. Let's see how we can lean into that. Uh, Agatha Harkness, his teammate, on her basic applies deflect. Uh, on her passive, when uh, Moon Knight were to fall below uh, 30%, she would also apply deflect. So um, immediately just like her teammate can help her. Um, one other thing, Captain America, putting him with Captain America on a, a Crucible team, uh, you're basically giving him 20% speed bar, not on spawn, because he will wait for somebody to take a turn before he clears that deflect and gains that 20% speed bar, but, uh, Cap's just giving him that, a free deflect to do that. More niche but more impactful, Daredevil. Daredevil is Shadowland. He will give 10% speed to Moon Knight, and in War, he will give an additional 10%. So that's 20% speed. It's not speed bar. So that bumps his speed stat up to 126. Uh, that's pretty decent in the current meta. Uh, and when uh, Man-Thing comes, he's also going to give him 30% health. Uh, those will stack. But right now, you could just go in with Daredevil and have a fast Moon Knight. Um, so that's something that you can do. And you don't really need to build Daredevil for this, um, aside from his passive. Uh, but I think, as far as I understand, if Daredevil dies, this goes away. Um, but by that time, maybe you're done. Um, I, the idea is to just get him to ult very quickly. Uh, without Night Stalker allies, of course, he's not going to do the buff clear, uh, but he will do the damage, and he might apply buff debuffs. That's my thing. All these turns that we're trying to give Moon Knight, to what end? Like, what does he do with his turns? Just damage. And I think we already have a lot of characters that just do damage. So th that's why I'm lukewarm on him, but it's up to you. Um, I, w I wish we had Morbius rework. So maybe maybe I'm a little bitter on that, but honestly, when I look at this objectively, I'm not excited by this character or, or this kit. Anyway, now let's talk about uh, Dark Dimension. Uh... So, he's slow, as we discussed, and he doesn't have any type of self-sustain. He's just damage and maybe some con control, maybe. Um, he, because he has the new stats, he's not going to be bad, per se, but he's not a good choice either. There's so many other better options, uh, both for... Uh, 
location based or both for gear based dark dimensions like dark dimension six seven we have much better city characters uh, we have spider society we have robbie reyes we have sinister six and also for uh, dd8 where it's just city heroes again spider society robbie i don't think he makes the cut if you were to take him it wouldn't be awful uh, but he doesn't make the cut in my opinion i think there's uh better characters to upgrade for that um it's your call i don't recommend him uh let me think did we skip anything we looked at abilities we looked at iso 8 we looked at um dark dimension and i told you my plan and i think that about wraps it up um keep an eye out tomorrow i'm gonna do agatha and then uh, when blade comes in during the week uh, we'll also have uh infographic and video so keep an eye out for those let me know what you're thinking about moon knight are you excited that he's reworked do you like the character do you like the kit are you building him let me know your thoughts um i'm open to being swayed uh, I, I just haven't seen or heard a compelling argument yet but um yeah let me know your thoughts i'm curious to hear thank you for going over moon knight with me i hope to see you in the next one